three key leader takeaways in under three minutes. Let's start the clock. Today, we're going to talk about the positive side of negative feedback. You know, as humans, we crave affirmations as a way to tell us we're on the right track. And because we hate getting negative feedback, we also refrain often from giving it. Focusing on the positive doesn't help us grow, though. You won't make any changes if you don't recognize what isn't working. Without change, you can't develop and grow, whether it's personal or professional. Here's a cool stat for you. Harvard Business Review did a study and 92% of employees were driven to perform better when they received negative feedback, provided that feedback was done appropriately. So the dilemma between leaders and employees is asking and getting negative feedback in the right context. It's about having the candid conversation. So these are my three key takeaways on how to handle negative employee feedback. The first one is this, treat it as a learning opportunity. Framing employee assessments as a learning opportunity instead of criticism will allow you to be in the right frame of mind. This will help you take a step back emotionally and view the feedback purely from a strategic point of view. Employees aren't trying to make personal attacks on you. They're helping you see what you can do better. You simply don't know what you don't know. Here's my second point. Assess your own role in creating this environment. We're often quick to get defensive when faced with negative feedback. We've all been there. But rather than reacting in a defensive manner, take a step back, understand why the employees feel the way they do, and then assess the role that you played in causing them to feel this way. Are you creating unrealistic expectations? Here's my third point. This is empowering you to make change. You can't change a problem if you're unaware of it. Getting negative feedback is the only way you're going to be able to move forward with changes that will motivate the employees and keep them happy. Knowing your team's thoughts is the first step that you can take to make improvements around your work. It's these simple things that we all get reactive about that if you just flip it around and say, make the positive out of the negative, will raise the performance level of the entire organization. That's your three key leader takeaways for today on the positives of negative feedback. Iron sharpens iron. Make yourself and others around you better every single day.